Hey guys, Step by Manny. We're just gonna get warmed up a little bit. So find find an open area. We're gonna be doing sit ups, toe touches, and crunchy frogs, as well as three count, just in the air. So let's get started. So we're gonna do sit ups. Let's aim for twenty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Those were sit ups. Next, you're going to be toe touches. Have your legs in the air. Try to keep your legs straight and touch those toes. Four, six, Good. Next is crunchy frogs. We're going to balance on our tailbone. We're going to start in this way. So our legs are in, our hands are in, and we're going to go out, we're going to go in. 20 times. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. I'm going to stand up properly. Now we're going to go into three count. Uh, move around. Remember, keep your hands up, chin down, elbows in. And we're going to use our right elbow first. So we're going to do five right elbows, five left elbows, five right knees, five left knees. Now right knee, jab, cross knee. Now switch knee, jab, cross, switch knee. Remember, move around, be, don't be on your heels. This way, be on the balls of your feet. Jab, cross, switch knee. Hands are up. Move your head a little bit. That's it. Nice job, guys. Hey, guys. Step by me. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna stretch a little bit. So go arm circles forward, big circles. Arm circles backward. Make sure you're breathing. Stay nice and loose. Cross them over and under. And you could do this for however however long you want. Good. Neck circles all the way around. Ear to your shoulder. Go ahead and switch. Go ahead. Big hip circles. And switch. Good, hands on your knees, knee circles. Good, now switch other side. Good, we're gonna step it out, push your knees out, drive your hips forward. We're gonna be here for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, good, go down to one side. Keep both heels on the floor, back straight. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch other side. Five, four, three, two, one, good. We're gonna go back and forth four more times. One, two, three, and four, good. We're gonna break fall on the floor. We're gonna stretch out our backs, one leg up and over, point in the opposite direction as your foot is going. Try to get both of your shoulder blades on the floor. Three, two, one, good, and switch other side. Same thing, shoulder blades on the floor. Three, two, one, good, nice job. Pretzel stretch, like you're relaxing at the beach. Stick your hand through the triangle here and grab your shin. Relax your head on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, switch other side, like you're at the beach, hand through, and grab your shin. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Good, cut it loose. You can bridge any way you can. You can, you can just uh, lift, lift your hips off the floor this way, or you can use your hands this way. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice job. We're gonna go frog stretch. Remember, put your feet wider than your knees, and then push your bottom back. Hold this for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, get out of there slowly. We can stand up, keep your legs straight, shoulder length apart, and use your opposite hand and try to touch your toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. Good, switch, other hand, opposite foot. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, good. Grab your elbows, let your, pretend you have a heavy helmet on, and let your back relax. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, hands in the middle, split it out best you can. Try to keep your weight on top, you don't wanna fall forward or fall backwards. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. Turn to one side. Try not to use your back leg as a kickstand. Try to be on the same line. Have your chest up this way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, and switch. Other side. Same thing. Try to keep your legs straight. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, and you guys can stand up. Nice job, guys. Hey guys, how you doing? I just wanted to review some of the beginner curriculum with you guys uh, and move forward. We are gonna cover now, we're gonna cover combination number one, combination number two, and striking talents just as a review. Uh, and for you white belts that are uh, you know, uh, in class now or just recently started. So, number one combination, uh, Senpai will be here, we'll do a demonstration. So number one combination is a defense against a um, straight punch or a hooking punch. So he's gonna throw a big punch here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knife him lock and step back with my right leg at the same time with my other hand up. All right, so let's try that again. Move is coming in, I'm gonna block and step back. After that, then my offense is gonna be a front kick with my right leg. So I'm gonna fire off a front kick. Then from there, I'm gonna cross my leg over and then I'm gonna disengage by taking another step and then I'm gonna slide back to my fighting stance again. All right, so we'll try that again. We'll move a little bit faster here on this side. So Senpai is throwing a punch with his right hand. I'm gonna be blocking with my left and stepping back with my right. So he throws, I move and I block. Then from there I fire off my kick. I cross right away on an angle. I step out and then from there I gather some more space and move away from him. Let's do it again. Let's do this in the air a couple of times. So I will, um, you guys do it with me. So number one comes in, I'm gonna block with my left hand, I'm gonna step back with my right foot. Notice that I'm not standing on a tightrope when I do that, I step back and I'm basically in a fighting stance. So I've done my block from here, I'm just gonna throw a front kick, I'm gonna bring my knee up and hit with the bottom part of my foot. So I'm gonna front kick, then from there, I'm gonna cross my foot in front, right off of it, and then step back and then finish. Do it again, here it comes. So I'm going to block with my left, step back with my right. I'm gonna front kick, and the front kick can go anywhere, knee, stomach, face, your call. Front kick, cross, step out, and then back into my fighting six. One more time, number one combination. Block and step back, and yes, you'll do that at the same time. So block and step back, Front kick, cross, step out, and then from there, five, six. That is number one combination. Hey guys, now we are gonna cover number two combination. And this is for white belts in class and anybody else who wants to review. So Senpai will be right here, he'll be my uke, he's gonna throw his punch, and I'm gonna block it with my left hand or parry it with my left hand and move my head to the side. You also notice that when I do this move initially, my left foot is gonna move off to the side also. So he's gonna throw, and I'm gonna move from here. So my left hand blocks, my right hand is still up. 
And then from here, I'm going to throw a side kick. I'm going to bring my knee up high, and I'm going to hit him with the heel of my foot here. And then from there, I'm going to cross and step out the same exact way that I did for number one combination. So here, on a little bit more of an angle, I'm going to block and move to the side. I'm going to fire my kick. And then from there, I'm going to cross step and finish down this side. So again, straight punch coming in, I'm going to block it with my left hand. I move my body and position it to the outside. I bring my knee up, I extend, and then from there I cross and step out to finish. Thank you. All right, ready? So number two combination, here it goes. I'm gonna block with my left or parry with my left. I'm gonna slide my foot to the outside. I'm going to bring my knee up and extend, side kick, and then from there I'm going to cross step and then out to a fighting stance, similar to number one combination, same way. All right, so we'll do it again. Here it goes. So I go parry and step, knee up, side kick, cross out, and then from there finish. So I can do a mirror image to you guys too so you can see. So this will be mirror image I'll use on my other side. I'm going to parry with my left step with my left, and then from there, I'm gonna fire off my kick with my right, and then from there, I cross step, and then finish, all right? I'll do it one more time, a couple more times facing this way, you guys follow along, here it goes. So, parry, knee up, side kick, cross step, and then five extends. Again, number two, and again, you guys can run these as many reps as you want until we get that out, all right? So again, block, knee up, Side kick, cross, step, and then five extends. That is combination number two. Good. Hey, guys, we're going to cover striking talons. This is white belt curriculum and also a curriculum that's good for yellow belts and orange belts and all the belts to uh, review. So we're going to be doing a move called striking talons, and those are wrist grab moves. Okay? So what is going to happen here is Senpai is going to be grabbing me with his right hand on my left hand. So we're basically doing it. This is a mirror image here. So he reaches up with his hand and grabs the hand that's in front this way. It, it, it would be the same thing with the other hand. He would reach and grab here. It's not a crossing move. All right, so somebody is here in a little bit of an angle this way. There it is. He's going to grab me with his left. I'm sorry, he's going to grab my left hand. I'm going to have my left foot in front. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my palm strikes. I'm going to palm. I'm going to grab onto my own fist. And I'm going to rip it back towards my back shoulder. Pull. Then from here, I'm going to palm strike again. And then from there, I'll back off a little bit just so I don't hit him. I'm going to throw my front kick and then just step away. So I'm going to front kick and then step away, getting a little bit of distance. All right, we'll try it again. A little bit faster now. So I've got my left, my left hand is being grabbed. So I'm going to strike with my right side. If it's my right hand, it's my right leg. So, that, so it's doing all the work on the same side. Ready? So I go... Palm, pull, palm, and then from there I'm going to fire my front kick, right? And then from there I step back to finish. Okay? If we do striking talents B, it's basically just the other side. Okay? So now, step I would grab my right hand. All right? So now it's my left foot that'll be back. We'll do the same exact thing. I'll do my palm, I'll pull, and I'll bring it back to my back shoulder. I'll palm again, and then from there, back up just a little bit, I'll fire off my kick, right? And then I step back again, but then I take one more step to get back to my five six. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we're just gonna rep it in the air a couple of times. So follow along, guys. All right, so I've got my left side in front, just to set up for striking talons A. So left side is in front, I'm gonna go palm, pull, palm, Front kick with a key eye, right? And then from there, I shuffle back to five six. Let's do it again. Left foot's in front. There it goes. Palm, pull, palm, right? And then from there, shuffle back. For the B version, I will just switch sides, all right? So I've got my right side in front with my right foot, right hand. I'm going to palm strike with my left now. So I go palm, same thing. I pull towards my back shoulder, I palm again, and then I fire my front kick, hey! and then I step back twice to get back to my fighting seats. All right, so again, right side in front, here it goes, palm, pull, palm, hey! and then step back to fighting seats. 
right? Uh, one of the details on here, guys, is after I do the grab, whether it's right side or left side, I want to make sure that I'm, I've got my elbows tight and I'm ripping back towards my back shoulder and not towards my face. I've seen that happen a dozen times, maybe more than a dozen times. Uh, we want to make sure that we stay safe and bring it in super tight that way. Striking talents A and B. Hey guys, we're going to be working on combination number three, which is off of a straight punch. Uh, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to do a couple of demonstrations and then we'll talk about it. So Senpai will be here on this side, a little bit of an angle. He's going to throw a straight punch with his right hand and I'm, again, I'm going to pick it with my left hand, just like number two combination. This time, instead of fading to the side, I'm actually going to move forward and get closer to him, sliding we were on a clock and I was standing on six and he was standing on 12. I'm going to be moving towards 10 o'clock with my left foot. So I step to the side of his body. You notice that when, when after I, I make contact here on the wrist, that's where I want to block. But as I move forward, my hand moves with me as I slide in. So I end up on this tricep here. What I don't want to do is stay on his, on his wrist and have this elbow come up and touch me here. So I slide it forward this way. From here, I'm going to do a vertical punch or a thrust punch right to his liver or, low, or lower ribs. When that happens, that's going to help with the whole, that's going to help him bend over. So I'm going to grab onto his E from this position and pull him down. Once I pull him down, all I'm going to do is fire off a back punch, which is basically a right cross, except it forgot to flip. I'm going to fire off a back punch, which would be hitting, which would be hitting him in the temple. But I'll just go over his head, and then from there, I'm going to step back with my left foot and right foot to clear distance. Okay, so from this angle here, Senpai's going to throw his punch. I'm going to parry it just like I did for number two combination. And just like you guys parry your jab cross every time you come to class. So he throws his punch. I do my block or my parry. I step in with my left foot to the outside of his foot here. I throw my punch vertical. I'm going to grab onto the gi, pull him down. And from there, notice that my belly button went from there to here. Fire my back punch, and then from there, I'm going to disengage with my left foot and then my right foot. A little bit faster. He throws a punch. Here. Hey! Hey! And then step back to finish. All right, so now I'm going to run it a couple of times in the air, guys, so you can follow along. So I'm going to start in neutral position. I have my hands up. He's going to throw it. The punch is going to be coming in. I'm going to parry with my left hand. I'm going to step with my left foot. I'm going to vertical punch low with my right hand. I'm going to make a gripping motion with my left hand. I'm going to push this, this shoulder down towards my belt so he's close to me, so he's not there and I don't look like this. And then from there, I fire my back punch, and then my left foot steps back, and then my right foot steps back, and then I clear. Let's do it again. There it goes. A little bit. Left hand, left foot, vertical, grab. Push down, back punch, step back left, step back right. This way, ready? Left hand, left foot, vertical, grab. Push down, back punch, left foot, right foot to finish. That is number three combination. Hey guys, we're gonna be working on number four combination. That is techniques that are needed at yellow belt for orange belt. So number four combination, again, a straight right punch coming in. Well, lots of straight right punches coming in. That's typically what comes in um, uh, the most. So punches, uh, here, let me see it here. He, uh, Senpai is gonna be throwing his punch. I'm gonna be doing my inside block with my right hand. What I'm gonna do is center, I'm gonna move my left foot out of the way. I'm gonna step in with my right foot. I'm gonna hammer fist low to the bladder, which is gonna make him fold over a little bit. Then from here, my back punch is gonna come straight in this way. As I work on my partner, I'm just gonna have it shoot over his shoulder. In this angle now, he throws his punch, I go block and slot. I step forward, I hammer low. From here, I back punch high, and then from there, I step up. So, let's do it here. Let's talk about this footwork. So if I can get behind me a little bit, just so we can talk about this footwork. So if you're envisioning this punch coming straight at me, so if I'm between you and the camera, the punch is coming straight at me. If I don't move, obviously, here's my face, it's gonna hit my face. 
What I'm gonna do with my right hand is I'm gonna block it, right? So I take my right forearm, I'll do it left now, but I take my forearm and clear it this way, which is really just a version of doing a parry block, but I'm using my forearm to do it. The next thing that's gonna happen here is I'm gonna give myself another set of insurances by moving my left foot. I draw, I move into what's called a cat stand. So I take my left foot and I draw it in. I'm basically moving out of the way. So now, uh, Senpai, come on over. Give me an arm. So now when Senpai throws his punch at me, if I block, it'll move the hand, right? But if I block and move, it makes my life a lot easier here, okay? I'll keep my left hand up, just on guard, in case. From here, I'm gonna step forward with my right foot. So now I'm in a horse stance facing kind of the left, right? From here, I'm gonna hammer fist love. So this motion here, just watch it here, I'll do a mirror image. This motion after the block just basically pendulums down and then I do the strike this way. All right, so again, his punch comes in, I go block and slot. Then from here, I move in with my right foot and I hammer low. Then from there, I chamber my hand. So I basically chamber it back to this position. Then from here, I just shoot out this kind of, a, kind of an uppercut, but it's more of a straighter uppercut. Here, we call it a back punch. And then from there, I'm going to step back and finish. Right? So let's run it a couple times here, guys. I'll do it this way. I'm going to do it that way. I'll do it whatever way you guys need. So punch, uh, hands are up. Punch is coming in. I'm going to block with my right. I'm going to move my left foot. Move my body to the side. From here, I'm going to step in with my right foot. I'm going to hammer low. So notice my elbow is pointed. So it's this type of motion that's happening. So I'm going to hammer low. And then from there, I chamber my hand back here. And then I come straight out and throw my back punch. Then from there, the footwork is easy. All I do is I slide back with my right and get a little space moving forward. All right, let's try it again. Here it goes, number four combination. Block, slide, step forward right, hammer low, chamber, back punch, and then from there, I step back to finish. Try it again, two more times. Ready? Block, slide, step. Hammer, chamber, back punch, footwork. One more time, here it goes. Block, slide, step, hammer, chamber, back punch, and forward. And that is number four combination. All right, guys, uh, we are gonna cover now, again, four yellow belt. Anybody can work on this, but four yellow belt specifically, we're gonna be doing circling arms, A and B, which is basically a choke from the front, ah, and a choke from the back. Ah. All right, so uh, circling arms A is the choke from the front. Senpai comes in here this way. He grabs me uh, by the neck. You are correct. I'm gonna raise my left hand, I'm gonna step back with my right foot, and I'm gonna drop this, basically my armpit on top of his wrists here. Then from here, my counter strikes are going to be a back fist, which is basically hitting with the back of my fist, or my forearm, or my elbow, it really depends on how close the person is, but I'm gonna back fist, and then from there, similar to striking talons, I'm gonna palm strike with my right foot. And then from there, I'm going to step back. We'll do it a little bit faster. He comes in, I go one, and then I step back to finish. Okay? Uh, so let's practice it in the air a couple of times. Thank you. So again, person grabs you around the front, here, right around the neck. I'm going to raise my hand up super high. So when I do this, I raise my hand way up high so my left bicep is touching my left ear. So I go left hand and I step back with my right foot. I drop my left hand now, clearing the hands off my neck. Then from there with that same hand, I'm gonna back fist, then I turn my hips and palm strike, hey! and then from there, I step back. So we'll try it again, circling arms A. Left hand, step back right, drop, back fist, hey! and then shuffle back to safety. Let's do it again. Here we go, circling, arms, A. Left hand, right foot, drop, back fist, palm strike with the key eye, step away and finish, okay? So let's see you guys practice that a few times. Now we're gonna do the B version. Somebody comes here, you can turn around and face that way. So now the attack will be from Yang. 
just like this. He is going to, very similar to, to the A version, so he is going to raise his left hand again and close that distance between his bicep and his ear. Now from here, instead of stepping back, he's going to step forward and across. Now from here, he raises his hand way up high and he waves over the top of my hands, clearing both of my hands. And then from there, he just finishes with a single palm strike. And then from there, he clears and finishes. Let's do it again. Ready? And go. Left arm, step forward, wave, and then finish. Okay? So, uh, thank you very much. All right, cool. Let's run it a couple times in the air. All right, here it goes. Ready? Left arm, step forward. Now, if I step straight forward, um, I really don't line myself up properly, and then I'll end up being twisted as I do my strike. Plus, I'm still standing in front of the guy. I'd rather be off at an angle on him, right? So I go left arm, and then you notice I'll take my right foot and actually step across that line. Then from there, I'll wave, turn my hips, and then I'll fire off my palm strike. And then from there, I'll just disengage and finish. All right, so let's try it again. Circling arms, B. So B goes left arm, step forward, wave, palm strike, step back, and finish. Let's try it again. Here it goes. Left arm, step forward, wave, palm strike, and then finish. One more time. There we go. Circling arms, B. Left arm, step forward, wave, palm strike, step back, and finish. So that's circling arms, A and B. That's a front choke and a back choke. All right, cool. Now we are going to work on orange belt techniques. Uh, so combination number five and six, and then we're going to do two bear hugs, a bear hug from, from the front and a bear hug from the back. So what's going to happen is number five combination, again, a right-handed punch coming in. Very similar to number four with the footwork. Uh, so when the punch comes forward, I do my block and slide. Now from here, instead of going low, I'm going to go high right away. Here, you'd be hitting him in the face, but I'm going to throw it over his shoulder. Then from there, my right leg's gonna come up, and then I'm going to side kick, and then from there, I'm going to cross step and finish. So it's kind of a combination of number two and number four kind of put together, all right? So here comes the punch, block and slide, step out, back punch, then from there, side kick, cross out, and then finish. We'll do it from this angle here so you guys can see. Number five combination, there it goes. Block and slide, step in, back punch, Side kick, cross step, and then finish. Thank you. All right, so let's do it in the air a couple of times, guys. You guys can follow along and rip out as many reps as, as you want. Right? I'm still working on it myself. So five combination, starting neutral, hands up on guard. I block with the right hand. I slide the left foot just like number four combination. I step in with the right foot just like number four combination. Now, instead of going low, I go back punch high, which is going to drive him back, which will open up his midsection for your side kick, and then from there, we can cross and finish. I'll do it facing away so you guys can follow. So, punch comes in, lock and slide, step forward, back punch, knee comes up, side cross, and then five and six. Let's do it again, a couple more times, guys. Hi, we've got some people picking up some belts and stuff. All right, ready, so I'll keep going, here it goes, five, Block, slide, step in, back punch, side kick, cross step, and then five and six. All right, let's do it yeah. again. Number five. Here it goes. Block and slide. Step in, and back punch, side kick, cross step, and then five and six. That is number five combination. Hey guys, back for the, uh, another orange ball combination, numbered combinations, number six. Again, straight punch or overhand punch could be working also. So uh, let's go here. I think we'll show it better from here. So this could be a straight punch. It could be a hook punch. It could be an overhand punch. Either way, I'm clearing it with my left hand as I do it. So I do this rising block with my left hand. So he throws it. I'm going to go block with the left. From here, I'm going to take that same step as I did in combination number three to 10 o'clock. So I'm going to step with my left foot to the outside of his foot. As I do that, I'm gonna cup the back of his head. From here, I'm gonna take my right arm up, kind of chicken, chicken wing here, chicken dance. 
move here and have my thumb pointed down, and I'm going to be striking with my elbow to the front part of his face. From there, I'm going to reach in collar tie or grab onto the back of his neck and fire off a knee. Then from there, as I do that and step back, I'm just going to dish, move him away as I push him. Okay? Or push him and move him away. So a little bit faster now. He goes block, grab, elbow, reach knee. Then from there, shove off to finish. Okay? So let's practice that in the air a couple of times, guys. So let's do it together. I'll do it facing this way. Then I'll do it mirror image facing you guys also. So again, we start neutral position as we do for all the numbered combinations. We're going to block with the left hand. I'm going to step forward with the left foot. I'm going to grab the back of the head. From here, my right elbow is going to come up as if it had a string on it and somebody was pulling it up to the ceiling. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to fire my elbow. Then from here, I'm going to reach and grab the back of the neck. I'm just post my hands this way, or I can cup, like if we're doing this clap, I can cup my hands together this way. Then I fire my knee, and then from there, I just give them a little bit of a shove, and then I gain some space. All right, so again, I go block left, step left, Grab, elbow, double grab, knee, push, and then finish. So I'll do a mirror image with you guys. You guys follow along. Still move your left hand. I'll be moving my right, but let's follow. So it goes left hand, step left, grab, elbow, double grab, knee. As soon as my foot gets down, I just give it a shove, and then from there, I back off the finish. Back this way again. So let's go a couple more times. So here we go. Say the words too. I like saying the words so you can kind of upload them into your into your memory. So I go block left, step left, grab, elbow, double grab, knee, push, and then five steps. One more time. Here it goes. Block left, step left, grab, elbow, double grab, knee, push, and then from there finish. And that is combination number six. Hey guys, now we're going to continue on with orange belt techniques and we're going to do bear hug from the front and that's over the arms. All right, so typically that bear hug from the front comes in from here and it's really, really tight to your body. You can see how close our hips are as this is happening. Of course, somebody who's going to grab you in a bear hug from the front, I'm pretty sure they are, or at least they think they are, a lot stronger than you are. So this is a pretty tight, um, tight grip. So I'm not going to have room, like if I was just able to do this and go, hey, back off, then obviously I would, but we're assuming that this is like, you know, something huge. So the person grabs on super tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and, and just wedge them in between my hips and his hips. And yes, the phone is right now. It's ours. So you don't have to look. What will happen here now is I'm going to step back with my right leg. So if you notice again, Sepai's hips are tight to mine. I'm not moving his hips back. What I'm doing is I'm stepping back with my right leg and along with my wedge, I'm stepping back and creating space here. So if you notice, Sepai's hips didn't move at all. My hips are the ones that are moving as I do the technique. From here, I'm gonna fire off a couple of knees just to, get them, to loosen them up. So I'm gonna go knee and knee. And once that happens and I get a little compliance, I'm just gonna pop my elbows out here and back away. Then I'm just gonna fire the traditional jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. So let's do it again. He grips, I wedge, I step back, I fire off some knees for compliance. Once I hit that, I just take my elbows and just pop them up, and then I back off, then I fire off jab, cross, jab, cross. Thank you. So we're gonna run that in the air a couple of times. You guys follow along. So here, um, facing this direction, he grabs me. I'm going to bring my elbows up and wedge in between my hip and his hip. And from there, as I'm wedging, I step back to create space. Fire my knees. Then from here, my arms are just going to pop up. So I basically do this to, to reassure that I broke the grip. So I come out this way, then I back off slightly, and then I'll fire jab, cross, jab, cross. So let's do it again. Here he goes, we're here. Wedge and step back. Knee and knee, pop, jab, cross, jab, cross. A couple more. Knee, knee, pop, jab, cross, jab, cross. One more time. Here it goes, ready? Wedge, step back, stepping back with my right. Knee with my right, 
knee with my right again, break the grip, then my hands come up, I get into my fighting stance, fire off my jab, my cross, my jab, my cross, and then from there, I would step away. So there is bear hug from the front. All right, guys, for orange belt again, we are going to be working on bear hug from the front and bear hug from the back. Uh, so rear bear hug, front bear hug, and they're both going to be over the arms. Okay, so um, somebody's here, I'll be the aggressor, I come up from behind them, and I grab them in a bear hug. Why would somebody do that? First thing they would do it for is if I had a friend who was in front of me who's getting ready to rearrange his face, I'd be holding him. The second thing that will be happening here is I could grab him here and lift him up off the floor and then either go for a takedown or just move him out of the way. So we want to avoid that. So first thing Senpai's going to do after I grab is he's going to drop his body weight to make himself heavy like a small child who doesn't want to get picked up. So as soon as I grab, he drops. He also brings his arms up on a 90 degree angle. And I'll tell you why he does that. If he keeps his arms down and I make a grab and I go to pick him up, and, and I'm here and I realize that I didn't get low enough, I'm gonna open my grip and get lower and then pick him up that way. By semi bringing his arms here, it just makes that a little bit tougher. So if I grab high and he has his arms there and I go to go lower, it just makes it harder for that to happen, okay? So again, he drops. Now from here, he's just gonna give me something to think about. So he's gonna do a stomp. Foot stomp, heel kick, whatever it is that, that can work. From here, he's gonna go belly forward. So notice his hips are way away from me. Then from here, he's gonna drop into kind of a skiers pose, and he's gonna punch forward and hit me with his stomach. I mean, hit me with his butt. Go for it. Ooh, this way. Which hopefully will break the, break the hole. Then from here, he's gonna peek over his left shoulder, and he's gonna fire off a back kick, boom. And then from there, he cross steps and finishes. So we'll do it again. A little bit faster, just run through the move. Ready? So go. Drop, stomp, belly up, shoot, back kick, and then from there, finish. So there is um, bear hug from the back. So let's do it in the air a couple times, guys. Again, super important that you say the words with me. It's kind of uploaded again. So here we are, bear hug from the back. We are going to drop first, okay? So I'm going to go drop, and my arms come up. If you notice from the side, it looks like this at the same time. It doesn't look like... Uh, or any other version of that, right? So at the same time, I'm going to drop. From here, I'm just going to pick up my foot and stomp. If I've got on some nice boots or sneakers and the guy's got on flops, that works really well. So we drop, we stomp. Now I'm going to create space by moving my body forward. You notice my arms are still pinned. He's still holding on to me. Now from here, I go into that skier's pose where I shoot my hands forward and shoot my butt back this way. Right? So I don't know. I don't ski, but it kind of looks like I'm skiing. Then from here, I'm going to peek over my left shoulder, and I'm just going to throw a back kick. My thighs stay together when I throw this back kick, so I'm here this way. It doesn't come out like this. It goes here and straight back this way. So I do my back kick, and from there, I take a step forward, and then I take another step and turn and gain some distance. So again, here it goes. Bear hug from the rear. So I go and drop, stomp. Belly out, shoot, I peek over my shoulder, back kick, and then from there, I cross step and finish. Let's try it again. Here it goes. From the side, drop, stomp, belly out. I got stuck. <laughs> shoot, back kick, cross step, and finish. So there's a glitch in the matrix there, guys. I was like, hey, look at that squirrel. Ready? Drop, stomp, belly out, shoot, knee comes up, back kick, and then from there finish. I'll do it from this side. There it goes, ready? Drop, stomp, belly out, shoot, back kick, and then finish.